If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome to Learn Geometer series. In last episode, we have seen about JSON extractor. In this newer episode, we are going to learn about JSON James Path extractor in JMeter. Before we begin, in yesterday's video, I have got a question from Mohan. Hi Naveen, can you suggest me how to extract the last value from the set of results if we have multiple result sets? So that's a good question. Thanks Mohan for asking. So today uh, we are going to see how to retrieve the uh, last value. Uh, before that, uh, let us quickly uh, go through what is uh, gems path extractor and how it will be very helpful in your extraction. So this JSON gems path extractor is a type of post processor element in JMeter. The official definition is uh, it allows the user to extract values from the structured response such as XML or XHTML uh, using the gems path query language. So here the gems path, uh, the expansion is uh, JSON matching expression paths. It's a query language for a JSON uh, where you can write a simple uh, query and then it will uh, traverse the element and then it will uh, give the response. And you can do a lot of stuffs. Uh, you can, uh, for example, you can use some functions uh, for sorting, or you can pipe it, you can slice. So there are a lot of advantages uh, over uh, uh, gems path. Uh, so if you want to learn more about the syntaxes, and expressions, you can always go to uh, jamespath.org. So they have multiple implementation. Uh, they have implementation for Python, uh, .NET, Java, JavaScript, etc. So based on uh, your uh, convenient, you can uh, use this in your uh, uh, project. But uh, JMeter, in JMeter, you can write the expression. Uh, so JMeter has a built-in uh, tester, or you can use the jamespath uh, online evaluation tool. Uh, the only one drawback uh, here in JMeter is it uh, you can write only one expression at a time. So if you want to write multiple expressions, you have to use multiple uh, post processor. So that's the only thing you have to keep in mind. So this is how it looks. Uh, it's very similar to JSON extractor. So you have the apply to field where you can apply and you have to give a name and you have to write a expression. Then you have to mention uh, which occurrence you want to extract. So zero for random, minus one for uh, everything and the n is for the nth occurrence and you have to mention the default values so if there is no match found then it will send you the uh, default values in the subsequent uh, request so it's pretty simple uh, pretty straightforward and as i mentioned it has the uh, inbuilt uh, testing uh, tool uh, in the uh, view results tree we have to just change the type of the view uh, just select json james path tester and uh, write the expression and click on test and then it will display the result. And now we will see a quick demo. Before that, uh, let us uh, see the yesterday's question from Mohan about uh, the uh, extract, uh, extracting extracting the uh, last value. So here to demonstrate, I am going to take, uh, so this is uh, jsonpath.com and this is the sample input and uh, this is the evaluation results as you know and here uh, as you see the phone numbers there are uh, two uh, well two uh, items basically uh, one is the uh, type and the number again which has the two uh, entries uh, the home number and the one is the iphone number so assume that i want to extract the last type which is the home number so how do i uh, write the json path so basically you have to use the recursive uh, uh, function here uh, the syntax so you have to enter dot dot so dollar is the uh, root and dot dot uh, and the uh, element the key value uh, so here the key value is the uh, phone numbers so which will extract the uh, the two entries the type iphone and the type phone home and here let, let us assume i want to extract the first one so what uh, we can do is we can mention uh, zero so zero means the first element. So which of course it will return the iPhone. And if you want to return the last one, uh, you can, if you know the number basically, then you can go with the number. But uh, we don't know the number. Uh, so right now we know the JSON uh, document, which has only the two types of phone numbers. But what if in future we have four or five or hundred? So we do not know. 
So at this point of time, we cannot hard code the number. So we have to go to the last element. So that is where that uh, slicing uh, comes into picture, the syntax. So here, uh, if you enter minus one, minus one, uh, two, zero. Okay, so this will, what will happen is it will reverse the uh, order. So it will go to the last one and it will display the uh, last one, uh, last uh, element, basically the type and the number. So that is what it is displaying here. And if you want to uh, get the number, exact number, what you can do, you can enter a dot here and number. So this will reach the last uh, phone number in your uh, JSON document. So this is like a start and end, uh, it's like an array uh, from and to start and end. So that's kind of uh, syntax here. But so, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, another phone number, say work. And here uh, 89999. So now if you see it, it is automatically retrieving the last phone number. So this is how you extract the last uh, element from your JSON document. So this is how uh, we write in JSON path. But the same thing can be achieved in uh, James path as well. So this is uh, jsonpath.com. For James path, uh, you can go to uh, jamespath.org. So again, uh, if you just uh, go to the home page, you will get the uh, tool, uh, jamespath.org, the home page itself, uh, we have the evaluation tool. So here I just copy and pasted the uh, the JSON document which I have we have seen just now. So here you can just start writing uh, in a simple uh, uh, English basically. So here, uh, for example, I want to uh, get the phone numbers. So what I can do is I can just type uh, phone numbers. It's case sensitive, so you have to use the exact uh, syntax. So it, at the bottom, you can see it is automatically retrieving the uh, results and then it is putting it in the JSON document. So from one JSON document to another JSON document. So now you can again, uh, you can uh, just uh, type uh, dot and type. So type of what? So type uh, because it's an array. So we have to enter the uh, number here. So type uh, phone numbers of the first phone number dot type which is giving the iPhone. Uh, if you want to uh, get the number, then you have to enter the number. Now I want to retrieve all the phone numbers. So what I want to do is uh, I can do a uh, star. So if you put star, it will retrieve everything uh, from the expression, from the JSON document, and then it will give you the result. So JSON, uh, James path has a lot of uh, additional uh, features, like uh, you can write, uh, uh, you can sort it out. Uh, you can uh, do some mathematical expressions like uh, greater than or less than. You can write your own expressions. So if you go to uh, this uh, tutorial or examples, you will get a lot of uh, uh, syntaxes. So it is very powerful uh, than the JSON path. Okay, now let us uh, just copy this. Okay, copy this uh, same syntax and then let us uh, use it in the uh, James path extractor. So I already created the James path extractor. Let us, uh, let me uh, delete it. And so this is the JSON extractor for the last four number. So let me disable this. And uh, so here I'm using dummy sampler. So in the dummy sampler response data, I'm just uh, uh, pasted the uh, JSON document. You can use your own document or you can use the sample one. Uh, and to add the James path uh, JSON extractor, just right click on the uh, dummy sampler and go to add post processor and select the JSON James path extractor and here, uh, like every extractor, you have to give a name. So you extract uh, phone numbers. And in the James path, I'm going to uh, copy this. And I'm going to paste it here. And run, uh, match number is one. And the default value is not found. So now this will uh, display, uh, this will extract the all the phone numbers. So let me uh, run this. So here uh, in the debug sampler, you can see uh, the extract for numbers uh, is two. So the total uh, match found is two and it is uh, extracting the uh, extracting the phone numbers. Uh, so it should be uh, minus one here so that it will extract everything. 
okay so now you can see extract four numbers underscore one the first one and the phone number two is the uh, second one so here uh, you can write some uh, piping as well so piping so here i want to say i want to sort the uh, numbers phone numbers so what i can do is i can uh, put a pipe symbol and sort like this so this will uh, sort your phone numbers okay uh, right now i have a type iphone and type home so let us uh, sort the type so here if you sort the type it is going uh, home and iphone so you can use this uh, sort symbol so you can copy this and then you can use it in your uh, uh, james path expression so here you can it will work actually so here if you enter the uh, james path expression in the james path tester and if you enter you can see the result zero result one is home and iphone so you can do lot of stuff so you can do sorting you can do uh, you can do some expression uh, greater than or less than so you can do mathematical stuffs also so it is very powerful uh, so just uh, based on your needs you can write the uh, james path uh, extractor so i'm not an expert in james path extractor or json path i so i just know how to navigate basically if not you can just uh, go to the documentation you will get the uh, re relevant help and assume that i want to uh, get the length basically so length also the, again there is a function for length so here what we can do is so i can write length of phone numbers uh, phone numbers dot type let me delete this okay, length spelling is wrong actually so length of phone numbers see so length of phone numbers so there are two types uh, two elements available right two entries that's why it's giving two so here you can go with uh, star dot type so there are two types available so you can write length so sort so there are a lot of functions available just uh, go to the uh, documentation you will get the relevant uh, help so similarly for length uh, in json uh, james path in json path also we have the length so if you go to uh, json path uh, we can just just type uh, phone numbers dot uh, length okay so dot length if you use it will give you the value but there it is a length is a function so length uh, open parenthesis and close parenthesis so that's how it works so i hope uh, this session is uh, very useful uh, if you have any questions please let me know in the comments or you can raise it in qa insights community so just go to community.qainsights.com uh, i will be able to answer your question and uh, if you have a time please go to my next tutorial and uh, stay safe thank you if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel